maybe I'll rephrase that. Are we in the hunt? <laughs> you know, as part of our economic development strategy, I have been working hard and Calgary Economic Development has been working hard on attracting some of the best known names and brands to Calgary, as well as lesser known startups and other businesses. This is a really important part of the work we're doing. I am all in on it in many, many, many different ways. Now, non-disclosure agreements prevent me from saying a little too much about specific files that we've been working on. But I can tell you that we are very familiar with this particular pitch. We are not surprised by Amazon bringing this forward. And when you look at the criteria, I can't imagine a place that meets it better than Calgary. Access to transportation and logistics were such an important inland port. Availability of outstanding space, both uh, downtown and suburban space, and most important, a highly educated workforce that can absorb the very intricate and technical needs of this organization. I cannot imagine a better place than Calgary for this kind of investment, and I will be making that case strongly. So what does that look like, making that case strongly? Are you going to Seattle? You know, I feel like, uh, thank goodness, there is a direct flight uh, from Calgary to Seattle. I expect a lot of people will be using that flight over the next several weeks. Um, can you tell me about our vacancies downtown? Does that factor into this equation? Yeah, you know, the most interesting thing about Amazon's RFP is that unlike most tech companies, they specifically say that they would be interested in exploring a downtown option instead of a suburban campus option. Quite frankly, Calgary can do both. But having a location, an organization like that downtown, really gives us the ability to create a cluster of tech in our downtown core, which we've never had, which really will help us be more resilient through economic cycles so that we don't see our downtown vacancy rate yo-yoing as we've seen in this economic downturn. So could that be a piece of the puzzle as opposed to, let's say, you know, repurposing something else out there or looking at West Village, something like that? All of that is what we need to think about going forward. There are opportunities to build on bare ground. There are opportunities to move into existing buildings to create kind of that culture or that village concept. There are also suburban opportunities. So that is what we will have to come to terms with very quickly. But as I said, given Amazon's criteria, the size of city they're looking for, the linkages they're looking for and the workforce they're looking for, uh, as well as affordability, it would be very difficult to imagine any other city in North America able to compete the way we could. Um, they have a bit of an operation, a Canadian operation in Vancouver. Um, I think proximity in terms of Seattle, I don't know what kind of priority they're placing in terms of either, you know, uh, being in Canada or being in another time zone, but does Calgary have the ability to knock off Vancouver if it comes down to that? Availability of labor, availability of space, access to transportation and logistics networks. Let's not forget that when stuff comes off of a ship in Vancouver, it's unloaded onto a train and come to Calgary to be distributed. So uh, I think that we have a lot of very serious advantages here. Uh, and in fact, because of that direct flight, given the challenge of border crossing on land in Vancouver, it's actually not that much closer. It doesn't take that much less time to get there from Calgary. So this is a pretty big fish if you're able to pull it into the boat. How long has uh, it been on your radar or on CEDs? Uh, we have a lot of fish on our sonar uh, all the time. And certainly we are looking to win back business 30,000 square feet at a time. But if there are opportunities for us to win several million square feet, we'll take them.